the data analytics certification tier list. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. We're gonna be ranking certificates and certifications from S tier, which is the best, to F tier, which is the worst. And I found just about all of the data analytics certs that I could find, at least all the really commonly known ones. And we're gonna be talking about which ones are good and why they're good. Now keep in mind, I do have a ton of experience on this because I've helped a ton of people get jobs. So this is based off of my own experience, my students' experience, and other experts' experience. But with that being said, it is still just my opinion. There's a lot of nuances to this. Certain certifications might be good in certain industries or certain countries, etc. So if you agree with any of these, you have experience with them, or if you disagree with them, go ahead and comment down below so that we can all learn from it. So let's go ahead and get started with the AWS Certified Data Analytics Certification. So AWS stands for Amazon Web Services, and it's basically all about cloud computing and cloud storage, which is incredibly hot these days. And this one covers AWS services related to collection, storage, processing, and visualization of data. And it's recommended for those with at least five years of data analytics experience. Now the exam itself to get the certification is 100 180 minute exam with both multiple choice and multiple response questions. And when you pass it, it's valid for three years and then you have to get it renewed. Now, as cloud computing grows, AWS expertise is increasingly valuable in data analytics related roles. So if you are trying to get into a role that has anything to do with AWS, this is going to be a very, very good certification to get. But if you're not, it might not be as useful. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into A tier. Next is the Certified Data Analytics Professional Certification, also known as as CAP. Now this one covers the entire analytics process. We're talking business problem framing, analytics problem framing, data methodology, model building deployment, and life cycle management. So it's extremely comprehensive. And it requires a bachelor's degree and five years of experience or equivalent. And once you complete the test, it's only valid for three years. And then you gotta get it renewed. Now this one's pretty good. It does provide a broad overview of analytics, but it's less specific than some of the other certifications. And it does require work experience. So although this one is valuable in what it teaches you, really the two things that you want to look for when it comes to these certifications is one, do hiring managers and business owners recognize and respect it? And two, does it teach you valuable skills that are going to help you do the job and land jobs? And I do think this one does the second one, but it's not as good for the first one because it's too broad and usually they're going to be looking for something more specific. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and put this one into C tier. Next is the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. And this one covers essential skills like like SQL, R, data visualization, and data cleansing. And it's also offered through Coursera, which makes it globally accessible. Many Coursera courses you can audit for free. And if you do wanna actually get the certificate, it only costs about $40 a month. And you can finish a lot of these in one month. Plus it even has a seven day free trial. Plus if for whatever reason you absolutely cannot afford it, they do offer scholarships. So I really, really like this one. And there's also no prerequisites making it ideal for beginners. Plus this one includes hands-on projects that simulate real world scenarios and Google does all kinds of amazing things for you, like partnering with over 150 companies for potential job placement upon completion. And by the way, the whole purpose of Google partnering with Coursera and coming out with these is the fact that they simply did not have enough people that have the skill sets that they wanted. And so they literally partnered with Coursera to tell the entire world, hey, these are the skills that we want people to have. And so yeah, this one is incredibly good, especially if you are a beginner. So this one tops the list due to its comprehensive curriculum, industry recognition, and accessibility. I'm gonna give this one an S tier ranking, especially if you are a beginner, this is the one that you should start off with. And by the way, I will link it down in the description and the pinned comment below. Next is another professional certificate from Coursera and that's the IBM Data Analyst Professional Certificate. Now this one covers Python, SQL, data visualization and dashboards. So it's less comprehensive, but it does cover some things that the Google certificate doesn't. There's also no prerequisites, it's suitable for beginners, it includes hands-on projects, including real world tools and data sets, and it can be completed in probably about a month. Although on the website it says five months, but basically everyone says they finish it much faster than that. Now, an interesting fact is the course does include a module on job search skills specific to data analyst roles. And overall, this one offers a solid foundation in data analytics with the backing of a major tech company, but it is slightly less recognized than Google's offering. So overall, I do like this one a lot. I'm going to go ahead and put it into A tier. Next is the MCSE Data Management and Analytics Certification. And while still relevant for Microsoft-centric environments, this certification is being 
being phased out in favor of role-based certifications. So data analytics and data analyst roles are becoming more and more specialized. You've got healthcare related data analysts and it even goes deeper than that. There's like nurse informaticist data analysts and then you've got sports data analysts. And then of course you've got the business specific ones like marketing specific data analysts, et cetera, et cetera. So a lot of these certifications are becoming specialized to these specific types of roles. Now this one covers SQL server and other Microsoft data platform technologies. It does require passing multiple exams and it is being replaced by new role-based certifications. Now an interesting fact is Microsoft does allow MCSE holders to transition to the new role-based certifications through specific upgrade paths. So they are definitely working on it and they're trying to adapt to the modern times. But with that being said, this one's good but not great. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into C tier. Next is the Microsoft Certified Data Analyst Associate. And this one is highly valued due to the widespread use of Microsoft tools in business environments. And it does focus on Power BI, which is a leading business intelligence tool. And it tests practical skills in data preparation, visualization, and analysis. Now it does require passing a DA100 exam and it is valid for one year, meaning you have to renew it year after year, but this does ensure that your skills remain current. So this one is super annoying because you do have to renew it all the time. But with that being said, this one is super valuable, super recognized. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into S tier. Next is the Oracle Business Intelligence Certification. And while valuable for Oracle specific roles, it does have limited applicability in the broader data analytics field. It does require passing a single exam and it is valid for life, which is nice, but it may become outdated as technology evolves. Now, an interesting fact is Oracle does offer hands-on labs to practice their BI tools before taking the exam. So this one can be good if you're going into a very specific role that uses Oracle, but if not, probably not that good. So I'm gonna give it a D tier ranking. Next is the SAS Certified Data Scientist Certification. Now SAS is still widely used in certain industries, making this certification valuable, but it's less broadly applicable than some of the others. So this one does cover machine learning, SAS programming, and even AI fundamentals. And it requires you passing five exams. And there's no formal prerequisites, but programming experience is recommended. And it's valid for three years before you have to do it again. So yeah, this one's pretty good, but it's also, you know, kind of a pain to get. Overall, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into B tier. Next is the Tableau Desktop Specialist Certification. Now Tableau is one of the most popular data visualization tools, making this certification highly relevant. Now as an entry level certification, it focuses on core Tableau functionalities. The exam itself is 60 minutes and it has 45 questions and there's also no expiration date. So this one is a really nice one to pick up because it has no expiration date. You don't have to renew it all the time and it's a good stepping stone to more advanced Tableau certifications. So yeah, this one's just a really good look. Obviously there's some roles out there that you know don't really use Tableau, but overall I'm gonna go ahead and give this one A tier status. Next is the TDWI Certified Business Intelligence Professional Certification. Now while TDWI is a respected organization, this certification has become less relevant due to rapid changes in the field of data analytics. And this one kind of covers traditional business intelligence concepts, but to be honest with you, TDWI offers a variety of more current topic specific certificates that may be more valuable than this broad certification. So overall, something has to go into F tier. You know, these are the most common ones. So obviously all of them are relatively good, but I am gonna have to put this one into F tier because it's the least good. So if you're a beginner watching this, like I said, I think the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate is a great entry point. It's definitely gonna be the best place to start. And I actually did an entire video breaking it down, covering it in great detail. And you can check that out by clicking right here.